Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Are you ready for another hot sauce review? Okay, I've got another one from Tasty Heats, uh, located up in Winnipeg, Manitoba, in Canada. Now, I have just been blown away, seriously, from uh, these hot sauces that I've tasted from the owner and the creator, Amila Rajakaruna. These are marketed as the world's first Sri Lankan hot sauces uh, based on Sri Lankan recipes using Sri Lankan spices and they are just incredible. Make sure you check out my other reviews that I've done. Uh, I've released about uh, four of them so far uh, so make sure you uh, check them out. Uh, the one I'm going to be doing today is Tasty Heats Tangy Detingling Hot. Check out that fire devil right there in the middle. Love these labels that he uh, has on his hot sauces. This is Tangy extra hot pepper sauce from Tasty Heats. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into this one. It says, apply sparingly. This sauce is very hot. Use when marinating, cooking, or as a table sauce. Add to any kind of meat or any dish. And what I found out about Amila's sauces, Tasty Heats sauces, is that these can be used as table sauces. They can be used in cooking, adding to other ingredients, just straight on food, so there's very unique, uh, unique uh, flavor profiles on each one of them. They all taste different, uh, using a mixture of peppers and fruits and spices, and they're just exceptional. And this one's uh, rated up there fairly hot. Um, I don't know why, but uh, because this one only includes uh, jalapenos. But let's go ahead and read the ingredients. It says. Uh, Jalapenos, peppers, vinegar, lemon juice, spices, and fruits. Okay, now the first thing I thought about on Tangy was that this is kind of a um, a verde style hot sauce with the uh, jalapeno peppers. This one comes across as kind of a thicker verde style, you know, with the uh, jalapeno peppers, uh, lemon juice, not lime juice, lemon juice, and of course vinegar, but this one's got fruits and spices in it. So check out the consistency. I love the consistency on this one. Once again, it kind of has a, a verde or salsa style, but it's kind of finely chopped up. So not everything's completely pureed up in this one. Nice green color on this one as well. Okay, well, let's check out the aroma on Tangy. Now right away, I can smell the jalapeno peppers. So it comes across kind of like a Tangy, <laughs> hence the name, a Tangy. Verde style or green sauce, but this one goes kind of beyond that uh, because of the uh, the the fruits and the spices that are in here. So it's given a little bit of a sweetness, and it comes across as having kind of a uh, a pickly uh, vibe. If you know what I mean by if you smell a jar of pickles, um, it kind of smells like that in a way, which is really really nice. You smell the jalapeno peppers, you smell the uh, spices, you smell a little bit of the sweetness from the fruit. And then once again, it kind of comes across as giving it kind of a pickle relish type vibe, which is really awesome. All right, show you what this one looks like. Nice, thick consistency, a little bit chunky, kind of like a relish in a way. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. You get a little bit of the Verde style. But then you get, it's more like a relish, <clears throat> excuse me, it's more like a kind of a pickled relish. You taste the jalapeno peppers, you taste the lemon juice, a little bit of tang from the vinegar. And, you know, surprisingly, um, this one kind of gives you a quick little sting or burn. Um, you know, sometimes I'm surprised at how jalapeno hot sauces can come across as spicy because sometimes they are. Um, but the spices in here are awesome. That's just really what makes uh, Amila's hot sauce is so unique is that uh, blend, excuse me, blend of spices that are just a myriad of many different types of spices, I believe. Um, and once again, the fruits that are in here, a tropical type flavor, kind of giving this a pickly vibe that is just amazing. So it's not like a Verde, um, a little bit more like a relish. Um, just a great combination, excellent flavor. If you like a, a green sauce, a Verde sauce, but you don't want it to be so tart and um, you know, like a Verde uh, style green sauce can be, but you want something different. I think the fruits and the uh, spices really kind of elevates this one to really something unique, which is awesome. Now, you said to try this on fish. I didn't do that, but I know that would be fantastic. This would be good on any type of fish, shrimp, scallops, 
any type of fried fish or uh, broiled fish or baked fish. I think it would be incredible. But I had this on eggs. I love a green sauce, jalapeno sauce on eggs. So there's a picture of this on scrambled eggs, and it was amazing. Uh, flavor is just really, really good. Uh, highly impressed with uh, all of their hot sauces. Uh, heat on this one. Uh, I think I would give this one a solid three out of ten. Um, it's got that. Uh, it's got a strong jalapeno type burn to it, um, but just excellent, excellent flavor. All right, thank you very much, Miller, for sending this one. I do appreciate it. Everybody, check them out. Uh, give them a like on Facebook. I'll put the link to TastyHeat.com in the description, plus the Facebook page where you can purchase these sauces. All right, stay tuned for a lot more, guys. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys on the next video.